All right, welcome back. We are continuing our Hogwarts legacy journey here. We did in the last episode, explore the witch's tomb. Anyway, we're hopping on to our next quest, the caretaker's lunar layman. Okay, we're gonna talk to Gladwin Moon. Oh, we also got a talent point. Hold on, we gotta upgrade Doofenshmirtz before we do anything else. Oh, that's good. Let's do that. Confringle Mastery. I have no idea if I said that correct, but okay. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, um, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. If you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Okay. Demi Guy's moon. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now and I'll explain more as we walk? Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes, terrifying creature that can see the future, wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigoises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and idiot as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Hmm. What's in it for me? Why would I do this? Seems all risk and no reward. Oh, rest assured, there's very little risk, and there is, in fact, a reward. I will teach you a particularly useful spell. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However, will you get in? Mm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. And I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. 
Okay. I'm about to do some goodies. Oh, Alohomora. Okay. Circle. And X. Okay, we made it. Okay. Oh, hold on. It's an essential spell. Alohomora. What in the world? It's a pretty neat mechanic. Dear Maribel, my dear dog. It's okay. Okay, our gear slots are too full. We gotta definitely sell some stuff. We, okay, we gotta retrieve the demi guy's moon in the prefect's bathroom and retrieve the demi guy's moon in the hospital wing. Okay. Casting Revelio reveals authority figures and enemy location allowing to scout ahead and remain undetected. Revelio. Yeah, that's useful. Eaves, okay. They're keeping a careful eye. Keep moving up the stairs. How are your students getting on? Rather poorly, I'd say. What the? Professors are here. We're raising a generation of coddled cake flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Aconite and Asphodel. Yes, well, it's still early, but they'll improve. <laughs> Okay, the professors are chatting. Revenue. Oh, wow, somebody right there. This must be the prefect's bathroom. Oh wow, there's people out here. Always mucking about, stirring up trouble. Perhaps Ramrock and Hiccup would have been competitive. One of those goblins comes near me. It's a nice pool. Look at this room. I wouldn't mind swimming here. Okay, you have to go one more floor up, it seems like. Oh god, what did I do? Oh! Field page! Okay, we gotta be careful. That guy almost caught us. Close call. Oh! Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, no? Okay, we got the last moon. I suppose Professor Black knows best, but the students are terribly disappointed. Holy crap, that person almost caught me. Oh no. God damn it. No, up there. Send him away. He doesn't even notice me. What a fool. Revelio. Okay, we're almost out. Get the field page here. Jewel encrusted tortoise shell. Okay. Oh, look at that person. 
Ah, ah, ah. You didn't see me there, mate. Alright, we're out and about. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. If we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the boggart in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. Sure. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. I'll keep looking. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. All right, we're done with oh, I, I knew you Gladwin. For help. Oh, we got a Wiganwell potion. Nice. Beast class. Taking our trusty broom to our class. Okay, let's wait. Oh, look at that. Let's begin. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> Gerald? What the hell is that? You can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. Okay. We're going to brush a pet. I think it enriches his experience. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? Beast feed, okay. Oh crap, my bad. Here you go. Take some beast feed. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. <laughs> I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. Neasles. Oh, couple of measle whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jeeks. <laughs> oh, stupid thing. Oh. What in Merlin's name uh, are you doing? Uh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent. 
Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. Okay. Hey, Doofenshmirtz, the man. There you go, take some food, mate. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Yes, ma'am. Just want to feed these dodo birds looking. Look at that. Here you go, mate. Oh. Oh, sh my bad. Oh, I'm not going to hurt y'all. Here, you eat. Everybody eat. Okay, I hope that makes you happy anyway. Let's speak to the professor. Hello, professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It's pretty good. I enjoyed it. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Okay. Psst, psst. Over here. What the? Hello, Poppy. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. Sounds intriguing. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Okay. Let's follow Poppy. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you. I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. the weather we're having don't you think poppy where are you taking me it really is much better if i just show you give me some moonstones don't worry we're nearly there it's just ahead stand back Meet 
Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. Bow, okay. Bow again. Hey. I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. Okay. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. Here you go. Got some flying food. So, what did you think of High Wing? That was brilliant. I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seems to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does sound suspicious. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. Alright, let's get it. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Okay. Hey, talent point. You already know the drill. Oh, that might be useful. Okay, let's do this. Ancient magic throw expertise. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. Wow. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Uncle Roland. Alright, we've got a lot of quests. Okay. Speak to... Adelaide. Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumors that goblins may have been involved. Well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle or am I overthinking this? 
I would be worried. I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Uh, could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. Sure. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last hour, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Okay. Let's help Adelaide. Okay, the camp is right here. Could this be Mr. Oaks's camp and Rock's loyalists? Just ahead. All right, come here, mates. Okay, we got them. Items? Yeah, what happened here? What yeah. the hell is that? Oh god. That thing's on fire. Yep. I knew it was gonna explode. Mr. Oaks's trade journal. What the okay. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Okay, you gotta look for these landmarks. Relax. Rock formation. That's the first landmark on this map. Now to find the crooked tree. Crooked tree. Those trees look pretty crooked. Why the hell can I dismount here? to attend by myself. Well, we're here now. Okay, we gotta like destroy these lads. Come here, mate. Okay, we got quite a few of them. Stone walls do a prison make sometimes. The hell's down here? Enter coral runes. What is this quest leading me into? What will we find in here? Okay, let's do all damage spells. Three coins. Perfect. Incendio. Confringo. On. Your blood's on Ranrock's hands. Aha! We unlocked the door. Okay, 
if we can go up there. Slashed, mate. Okay, let's continue onwards. Come here. Okay, we gotta keep moving. Get out of here, mate. Okay, that took care of everybody. Need more Wigan Well potions. Is that? Door? What's this door? You'll oh, can't open up the door. Never mind. I'm about to say. Might be a big chest behind that door. Holy crap. You've okay. one less follower, Ranrock. Whoa, savage. Doofenshmirtz is savage. Okay, is there something supposed to fall down there? Nope. Okay, let's keep moving. Oh, he's here, isn't he? Hello? Mr. Oaks? Yes, I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a boiling door. I've heard you speak of it. I need to find Mr. Oaks' wand. Where could it be? A boiler door. Okay. Yeah, let's go grab his... Wand. Okay, this is the door we had to go through. Okay, it makes sense. How do I unlock it? Hmm. Okay. Seems like we might need to use Repero. Oh crap, not Defendo. Oh god, we gotta put it on fire, not repair it. Okay. What the hell am I doing? There you go. Oh, I see. We have powered the door open. Oh, and there are people here, of course. What the hell? Come here, mates. I'm gonna destroy all y'all. Get out of here, mate. Okay. Uh, ancient magic time. Bang. You've one less follower, Ranrock. That was epic. Okay, let's find his wand here. Oh, there it is. This must be Mr. Oaks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. 
Alright, let's go back and give his wand. There you go. my wand and wait you're a student oh we must get you to safety immediately it's dangerous it's all right mr oaks i've dealt with these goblins before dear merlin you're either very lucky or very talented well, how did you find me i'm a friend of adelaide's she was worried about your business with ranrock's loyalists oh she was right to be i couldn't go through with the agreement and when i told them i ended up blindfolded and behind bars been locked in that infernal cell for so long they forgot I was even there. They overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasted goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. Did you speak to Gobbledgook? Am I right that you speak Gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ramrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. What did you overhear? You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizardkind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ranrock has despised wizard kind. Sees us all as cruel. That's pretty messed up. Poor Ranrock. So he has like a good beginning but turning evil story. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. All right. Mr. Oaks was lucky. Ranrock's lot would never have freed him. All right. I think it's a good place to end this episode. We'll continue on next time. Thank you for watching.